Here goes. What is good, everybody? It's your boy Anthem back at it again with another episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Today, we are going to be playing through more of White Wafers and venturing into stage four. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Ah, goodness, it's it's just good to be back playing this game yet again. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. All right, so this is it. Actually, this is um. So in case you guys don't know, this is actually in between takes. So it's been about a few days since I actually played the game again, and uh, I'm glad to be playing it again for you guys. I'm really enjoying this let's play or this 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 playthrough essentially of of Kirby. Um, I'm gonna grab you because you're gonna be very useful in the next room. So yeah, I'm just going. I'm doing this basically like by memory, from what I can remember, from what I have done. Oops, hold up, there we go. From what I've done so far, and from what I've played, um, in my original run of the game back on Wii. Here we go. And from what I played from just playing it on my own time with the remake. Uh, so, but that is our first star piece. So you want to slow down. I keep saying star piece, like I'm playing Paper Mario. That's our first energy sphere. <laughs> Uh, you want to just go into that second room there kind of just wait it out Don't rush through it get in that cannon and then bam you're there once you finish that section you're gonna be here And you're gonna be these machines that will be throwing these ice cubes that you want to grab this uh, rainbow tuba yet again and With spark as you're also with your other combination um, You should be able to manage to get through this pretty easy pretty fine um you can destroy basically anything on top of you that, that comes down, so that's really good. You're gonna stop over that guy, grab this yet again, and then grab your new rainbow too, because that one is really broke. <laughs> it's about to break, so yeah. One other thing you can do here is if you want, you can also do this. You can get rid of this ability, and if you want to, there's a cool mechanic in this game where if you swallow three or more of the same abilities, or different abilities, you get a random ability. So let's see, what are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? All right, Cutter's not bad. Cutter actually hasn't been shown off in a while, so let's let's stick with Cutter. Cutter's not bad. Let's see. We're gonna try to get through this guy here. Get through the ice cubes there. Grab all the goodies and items there. Ruin these, ruin the waddle dees in their day. He just fell off the ledge. He didn't even care. The wind didn't even pick him up. It's kind of crazy. The wind just doesn't care. About the Waddle Dees. They just don't care at all. Alright, from here, this is, I believe this is the race section. And because we're playing on the EX version, it's gonna be a lot tougher. Yeah, so this guy, as soon as you hit this, as soon as you hit this button, he's gonna start running and he's gonna be a lot quicker than on the normal version. So we gotta run. Oh, 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 wow. He's, he's off to the races. Alright. Uh oh. Forget it. Just get water. Water's gonna help us get there faster anyway. And we gain some slight invincibility with that move. We gotta go really, really fast. There we go. Because what he's gonna do is he's gonna run straight into that door. He's gonna release those guys. But we need to take the key, go down here, grab our energy sphere, and uh, leave those boys alone. I mean, you could probably... There we go. There we go. Just do that. That hitbox just barely breaks through that ground level. And surf our way into the door. All right. Wait. I'm gonna shut up because this song is amazing. Actually, wait. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're we're gonna get a chance to hear it again soon. But we gotta do this. How dare they tease me with this song? They teased me with the song. All right. We got Snowball. It's back again from that one beach area we were in. We're actually bowling this time. I actually really like this this mechanic here. We get we get to actually bowl all the way our way down, destroying all the enemies in our path. And oops, hold up, destroying all these snowball pins or snow pins. I don't know what they're officially called, but if we get all of them in a row, we're rewarded with some goodies at the end with the little party ball. Which is also, if you guys didn't know or recognize, is actually the item from Smash Bros. You know, the the, the party ball? Not, not too many people, I think, know this. And yet, yeah, look, at, look at him! Look at him! He's so happy. 
Him good. Him special. Love it. You just you love to see it. Right, collect those. And into the other dimension we go. See where our fate takes us. Alright, so we gotta go. So it's descending down. And it's very, very slippery here, so we gotta be careful. I said we gotta be we gotta be careful. Alright, swallow that. We're gonna keep going down. So there are gonna be these little the ice the ice um I guess I don't know what they're called but they're gonna point down some of them will drop down some of them are just gonna be hazards of the stage so you gotta be careful where you're jumping and you know just make sure that you are aware of what is happening around around you, you do that to get rid of them completely so you don't have to worry about crashing into them from there we're gonna just keep going just keep Inhaling everything and destroying everything in our path, just like that. Gonna drop down, gonna avoid these things. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Kirby. There we go, there we go. Oh, nice, got in there. Alright, alright, be careful of the falling geometry. You don't want to get squished. Alright, there, there it is, there it is. Alright. And worth Worth, we got it. <laughs> got it just in time. Just in the nick of time. All right. Um, we are going to choose. We just actually had Cutter, funny enough. And it was randomized, too. It wasn't even something that uh, was in the level itself. But we're going to do Bomb. Because Bomb hasn't had a lot of time in the spotlight. And Bomb, I think, can just can easily just tank all of this. <laughs> we can just aim correctly. Careful. Be careful here. Gonna plant a few bombs here. Oop, I'm at the jump. There we go, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. And he's defeated. Remember that? We got all the energy spears here. Clear the level nice and quick, actually. Not too bad. Very fun level, I would have to say, with the snowball. Snowball is just just an amazing, neat concept, I must say. I don't know, just the idea of ultra abilities or super abilities at all. Very cool. So we got bomb. We're gonna end off the level with. Oh, if we can just not die, we can just end off the level with that. He's not gonna. What are you, what are you doing? Oh no. There we go. He's gone. He will no longer be a threat in our way as we go through the big gold door to victory. Let's see if we can get this gold game. All right, viewers at home, can you do it as well? All right, we got it even, we got it all the way to the top there. Nice. All right, very lovely, very, 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 very lovely. All right. Stage four is now complete as we move towards stage five. Now, the song that I was talking about before, oh wait, hold up, okay. Uh, sub game unlocks 60 energy spears. Checkerboard Chase. That's a fun mini game. A lot of these mini games, these sub games, that one especially feels like a Mario Party game. Like it, it feels like it, it like came straight out of Mario Party. But I digress, I guess. Either way, we're gonna move into stage five now. Stage five now. The music that I was talking about before is gonna pop up in this stage, and oh my god, just moment of silence for this song coming up. Here we go. <laughs>
Okay, I think the song has played on long enough for you guys to like definitely get like this song is really good. I don't know. It's just like this is a good like calm before the storm song. You know, this is stage five. You know that, you know, there's a lot at stake. You know that the boss fight is going to come up after this part of the game. And it's just it has this mystical feel to it, especially given the fact that a lot of these uh, energy spheres, that's the first one that we got. But a lot of these energy spheres are going to be a bit more troublesome to solve bit more you know like i don't know it just it just has a different kind of feel to it the music just has a really good vibe i don't know this 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 whole game has really good vibe with the soundtrack i just i just love it it's so great all right with that we're gonna keep pressing on so that was our first energy sphere and we could get mecha here we might as well just show it off because we don't really show off mecha a whole lot anyway but mecha also gives us fire Similar to uh, Fighter, which also has that, you know, the, the blast move that you can do that gives us fire as well. So, all right, we're going to do this. We don't necessarily need fire either way, but we need to basically race the clock. We need to get here. There we go. Fly up here. And we're good. Mecha actually made that a lot easier, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. We just have to make sure that we get through that entire path before the blocks block our way. And if you mess up at any point in time during this entire segment, you can always go out of the cave area and then go right back in. Try it again. So. No, no shame if you didn't get it the first try, you know? It's okay. Everybody's at a different level of experience when it comes to playing these games. And here in this channel, we don't like to judge, you know? I don't judge people for the way that they play their games. You should be able to play the games however you like, whatever games you like. You know, on whatever console, whatever system, whatever, whatever it may be. So, <laughs> I don't judge. I am not a judging McJudgerson. We're going to keep moving. We got Mecha to help us along the way. Now, these guys, they're pink. And they're going to follow us as soon as we grab this key. This is another key section that we saw in the first part of this level. Um, I believe we need fire. Let me see. I think we do need fire. So, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get that. Um... Oh, no, we don't. We don't really need fire. As a matter of fact, Mecha probably would have been a lot better, but it's fine. So these guys are going to follow us. We got to we gotta move on out of the way here. We got to keep moving. We got to keep going. We got to keep pressing. Got to keep pressing. Got to keep pressing. There we go. Matter of fact, let's see here. Oop. Do that. All right. And we're going to hit that. Grab the door and mosey our way on out of there. So let's see. I think we're getting close to the other. We are getting close to the other um, energy sphere. So we should be there soon. Okay, so now we're in here. It's dark and mysterious. And there's uh, pits everywhere. There's pitfalls everywhere. So we got to be careful of that. We're going to grab you because Beam hasn't really had a chance to really shine its light yet, to be honest. So we're going to do that. Watch out, we got snowmen falling here in the background. We're going to fly up to grab this star because no star shall be left unattained. <laughs> Although I have left a couple of them unattained, so it's whatever. Got to be very careful here. Again, bottomless pits. The gimmick of this room is that there's bottomless pits and it's very, very slippery. So you want to be very careful. We're going to do like we did before and use the candle um, as a source of fire. We're going to just get rid of all this ice here. Don't know how that really works. I mean, it's just it's a lit flame. But it's not that much of a lit flame. I don't know. But it works. It works either way. Now we're... Oh, okay. Now we need ice. We need ice here. So we're going to use... Because what we need to do is we need to grab... We need to hit this button. Unless... Can I do it? Wait, hold up. Hey, hold up. I want to try something. Although Frosty's kind of in the way. I want to see if I can actually... Because I think this can go through walls, right? Not fast enough. Hold up. Okay, he's going to do that. Let me see if I can just... Oh, it doesn't. Okay, I thought it does. Maybe not like... Okay, not solid walls. All right. It was worth trying, I guess. What you want to do is you want to wait for this guy to just line up here. Oh, wait. Hold up. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Thank you, Kirby. And then gently give him a kick. Hits that, and we're able to get our third energy sphere. Pretty creative on the devs' part, I must say. 
how they, you know, they use every ability to the best of its ability, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I love that. We're gonna get our second candlestick here. We gotta be very, very careful, though. Now that we have ice, it's gonna be a lot more slippery. Although, well, not slippery. It's just we're gonna go a lot faster because we're skating. And, uh, yeah, we gotta be very, very careful not to fall off the sides there. That little guy is just... He's, he was adorable. Little waddle dudes, waddle dees, just walking around, doing whatever. Alright. Gotta be very, very careful. We made it to... Oh! No! As soon as I said we made it... As soon as I say we made it... All we gotta do, though, is just make it to the end, though, so it's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Let's try it again. Honestly, it might even be easier because I don't have... Yeah, because I don't have uh, ice gliding me all over the place. So maybe this is a lot easier. And there it is. First try. You can't say I didn't do it first try. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, here we go. Now, okay, so now these guys are back. This is kind of the gimmick of this entire, sort of the larger part of the level, to be honest, is just using these keys and getting across without getting hit. Okay, so what you, want, what you want to do is you want to grab the key, open this left door. Do not open the right door. Open the left door, and then duck down, grab the last energy sphere. They also added something new here to the deluxe version, which is just festival... Kirby, right, as a, as, a, as a whole. So what you want to do is you want to gather up as many of these enemies as you can, get them on screen, use festival, screen clear all the enemies, of course. They all blow up and you can collect all the red stars. They all turn into basically just red stars, so. And some cake, that's beautiful. A lot of times they do respawn, so you actually could do this infinitum, to be honest. Hold up, I could do this again, and uh, just gra just like do it again until I get maybe another one up. Okay, that's four on screen. I might just do this just for a little bit until I get one more one up. Let's see. Yeah, they yeah they all turn into okay cool. That's ten. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I got actual I got an actual one up. Nice. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead of this. I'm gonna do this in a couple times until I get. Maybe 61. 61 one-ups. Oh, nice. Okay, so I actually got... Uh, it actually just spawned a one-up. And I got, it also spawned the blue star, which gave me, like, I think... What is it? 30? 50-something stars? So I was able to get basically two one-ups. So with that, um, yeah. We completed the level. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little end reward there that they give you. All right, let's do the go game. Wow, didn't think I got all the way up there. Good job, Kerb. All right, and with that, stage five is complete. We move on to the big bad, the boss stage. Let's do it. Energy Spear is complete in level four. Nice, which gives us a grand total of 64, nice reference, out of 120. With that being said, we're going to venture off into the boss stage and see what awaits us there. Let's do it. Alright, let's see. What power-ups are they going to give us? What abilities will we have in store? We have, oh, Sans up top. We have Fighter, Ninja, and Fire. Let's see. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Fighter makes this boss fight a cakewalk. I'm just going to say that right now. So I don't know if I want to use it just, I don't know, maybe? Maybe. I could try ninja, actually. We haven't seen a whole lot of ninja. And I feel like I've been, I, I feel like I've used, I have used uh, sand in another boss fight. So we'll use ninja at... I, I promise we will do, we'll probably do fighter in another boss fight, but I want to try out as much as I can. I want to get a diverse kind of variety of, of things going on, and we haven't used Ninja at the very least in this episode, so let's do it. Oh, he's, he's black! That's a cool, that's a cool color palette. Nice. Alright, 
he can stick to walls and so can we. Just gonna keep hitting him with these. So this is Goriath EX. Uh, shoot. Gotta be very, very careful. He's gonna throw punches at us like that. We gotta be very careful. If we stay to this angle, he really can't hurt us. If we stay on top of him, he can't really hurt us. There's not much he can do. Oh, that was close. Good thing I dodged that. Here we go. Okay. So he's got a variety of moves. He can just he can he can throw projectiles. He can he has you know his punches, punch attacks, his melee attacks, he has all kinds of stuff. But he barely got a scratch on us, and uh, we already took his health all the way half down. Now he's going Super Saiyan. This it's literally Goku, guys. It's Goku. This is this is just Goku. Look at the oh god, I forgot about this! Oh, this is in the EX version! I forgot all about that attack. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Okay, we got a duck. Yeah, he's basically just Goku. This is literally... This is literally Goku. <laughs> this is literally the Great 8 transformation. That's so funny. Okay, he's gonna do that. We're gonna jump on top of him. Do these ninja flip kicks. Come on, come on, come on. If we duck down, he can't hurt us. Nice, okay. Alright, we're doing chip damage here. It was still good, though. Right, come on, come on. Come on, come up. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, cool. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, goodness. Got him. Got him. Like I said, he just has a whole lot of attacks. All you gotta do is just kind of watch out for what he's gonna do, try to telegraphic, and you'll be fine. But again, a lot of projectiles, a lot of punches, but even then, this monkey could not fall. Or at best? No. Best? Yes. He could not best against the best of Kirby. And with that, we take our prize. Yeah. And we do our dance with a little ninja hat. Look at him. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's actually like low key one of my favorite boss fights in this entire in the game. In the game, it's just so there's so much action. There's a whole lot going on. The EX version just turns it up a notch, to be honest. That one like super like energy ball move, crazy, like crazy. You know, and and the fact that this is all in a Kirby game, who who designed this? I don't know. Definitely some some anime fans, or it's some some devs that are anime fans here. Especially, but with that, we got the mast. I believe that is the that's the mast, right? Magalore is gonna tell us what it is. I believe it's the mast. <laughs> Could be wrong, but yeah. Kirby, you've done it. My star could have finally had. Oh, emblem has his emblem back. Oh, joyous, glorious day. Can you guys tell that I've never sailed or maybe even been on a boat? I've been on boats. That doesn't mean I know all the parts of a boat. <laughs> There's only one missing part left to find. And remember, once the lore's up and running, I'll take you to visit my home. Crashing here on your planet, meeting you, somehow, despite what an ordeal this has turned into, it's been worth it. Thank you yet again for all your help and for being such a cool dude. Aw, oh, no problem, Mag. Here to help, always here to help. With that, we haven't unlocked anything new. We're literally a star piece behind. Star piece, I keep saying star. We're literally an energy sphere behind from unlocking this door. We only have 64. We need 65 to get this. So in the next area, we'll be able to at least unlock that. From there, you should also have this room unlocked and I believe checkerboard chase unlocked as well. And if we just keep going toward the side here, we have some other doors unlocked, some other challenges. We have the bomb challenge unlocked. Um, and I believe, let's see, do we need, how many more do we need to unlock to unlock the next one? 75? Yep, 75. So we have a ways to go. Um, but yeah, we got some new things unlocked, so if that's something you guys want to take part in, you know, if you guys are following along with this playthrough, uh, you can definitely, you know, take part in that as well, and, you know, challenge yourself along the way with the story mode, but... It's there for you, but like I said before, we'll do the challenge modes, all the other side content, in a separate video. I want to just highlight the main story first, and then we'll do all the extra stuff later. With that being said, 
I think we're gonna end off this episode here. I think this has been a real, like, just, just joyous, adventurous world, or just adventurous episode. With that, though, again, um, we're gonna go to the last area before we cut off here, which is Nutty Noon. So, if we put all of it together, we have Cookie Country with C, Raisin Runes with R, Onion Ocean with O, White Wafer with W, and Nutty Noon with N, which creates the word crown. Now, I would be lying if I said this is the last full word or whatever. This is actually, yeah, crown is, yeah, the word, but there's a little bit more to it than that. What it is, I won't say, but I'm just letting you know that there is more game to this game than what meets the eye. But with that, we're just gonna we're gonna go into Nutty Noon, listen to the music that they have here before we cut ourselves off because the music in this game is great and should be highly appreciated. Just this area, I love this as the final area of uh, Dreamland. So good, so good. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the content. What do you guys think about that Goku fight, uh, and just everything else that we saw? Snowball, the interdimensional stuff that we did, all, just all the things that were in store. I think this was a great episode. I hope you guys thought it was too. Again, like the video if you liked the video. Comment down below what you thought was the best part of this episode, or what was helpful for you, and subscribe. I hear that if you subscribe today, you'll be able to have a pet monkey that can go Super Saiyan at any given moment in time. Uh, as long as you, um, don't leave it out in the cold. But, thanks again for watching, guys, and until then, this has been Anthem, signing out.